Today we're making spaghetti carbonara. Okay guys, so let's get on with this recipe. I have in my hand uh, three strips of bacon and I'm just going to cut it up. And you start your bacon into a cold pan, not a hot pan. Okay, so now I've got the bacon in the pan at about a medium heat. We're going to go ahead and just fry this up. Alright guys, so here I have uh, two egg yolks and one whole egg. And these are the Davison's pasteurized eggs. These are good eggs for children and for older people with immune problems because they've already been heated in a pasteurization process that makes them safe to eat when they're raw. And because carbonara, um, the egg is going to be heated, but it's not necessarily going to be cooked. So just not to take any chances, these are the eggs that I use. And they're very good and you should try them if you'd like. Um, so here I have the two egg yolks and the one whole egg. And I have a little bit of heavy, well, it's a lot, but we're not going to use it all. We're going to pour in just a touch or so of some heavy cream. That's maybe one-fourth of a cup. And mix that in. And then over here we have our grated cheese that I've already grated. Let's see if I can get this over here. And this one is Romano cheese. Try to use fresh, grate it yourself like I've done, or, I mean, if you don't have a choice, then use the one in the green container that you can get at the store. Okay guys, so I've added the pasta to the bowl already. This is about enough serving for about two to three people, depending on how much they eat. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add in first my Parmesan cheese, or it's actually Romano cheese. Give that kind of pasta in. water. I just cooked the pasta according to the directions of the uh, package. And all we're going to do now is temper our eggs. And by tempering, what we're doing is adding the hot liquid and stirring it. Sorry, I know I'm in the way of this bring this up to a little bit of a temperature so that we don't end up with scrambled eggs. Also the pasta water will serve as a thickener for our pasta. So now we're just going to go ahead and add our cream and our egg into this and mix it around quickly so it doesn't still to make sure that it doesn't scramble to create a good sauce. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our bacon pieces. Get that into it. Stevie, would you hand me the salt and the pepper? So I've added some pepper. Add white pepper if you have it. I didn't have it, so I just added black pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. That's maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And this is the finished dish, and I'm just going to plate it for you, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is our finished um, spaghetti carbonara with a little bit of chive and a little bit more of the uh, cheese on top. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please uh, subscribe if you're not already. Rate, of course, thumbs up. Leave a comment or any questions down below, and I'll be happy to get back with you. So with that, guys, live, love, and eat.